Hello Leo, welcome to your reading and I hope you're doing well as usual and uh, if you're new here and we haven't met, my name is Joe and I'll be doing your reading for all Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus placements, okay? So if you have Leo in any of those placements in your chart, this is just a popular reading for you. Do keep in mind that my readings are timeless and they are general, so just take whatever resonates, leave the rest behind. Don't try to force it fit anything and the best time for you to watch or listen to my readings is when you come across them or if the title catches your attention, that's why they're timeless. Uh, do feel free to browse my channel, you might want to check some of the other readings I've done for you in the past. But Leo, don't choose focus on your sun sign. Uh, you might want to check some of the other um, signs you have in your other placements, okay? Mostly your moon, rising and Venus, okay? Then you might want to check some other readings for those specific signs. Especially if you're having a hard time finding a reading that resonates with you or you feel connected to okay it's probably because your messages are coming stronger from there that usually happens it all depends on on your current life path okay do please uh subscribe hit the like button leave me a comment i would truly appreciate it very much it's the best way to support a channel and i do like to hear feedback from my viewers and if you know someone who might benefit from uh hearing or listening to these uh messages please do feel free to share my readings with them you just never know you might help someone who needs it okay last but not least thank you to all of you who have already liked commented shared subscribed stay subscribed and have given uh donations thank you i truly appreciate it very much All right, Leo, let's see what we have for you. Yeah. That's pretty good. Okay. Leo, you have the Knight of Cups as the heart of matter. What this current, or what this reading, or the current energy that you're dealing with, is all about. Okay, now, what this reading is all about, or the current energy that you're dealing with. Okay, I don't know why I. And this Knight of Cups, Leo, is about you moving forward towards something that is emotionally fulfilling to you. I think you're ready for something, for a new quest, for a new journey. Okay to find something that fulfills you, okay? Let's keep playing a few more cards and we'll figure out what's going on here. Leo, the energy that's crossing, it could be a challenge or a blockage, is the lover's Gemini energy. And this is about you coming into divine union with something or someone, okay? That is, you know, when I say divine union, I'm talking about something that is divinely meant for you, okay? But this is a challenge. This is the blockage. Maybe you're trying to achieve this. You're trying to find this special uh, thing, situation, person, okay? That you would feel completely, you know, the perfect match for you, okay? This is what we call, or you want to call, a uh, twin flame soulmate energy, you know? Um, I'm not skeptical about that, but I don't really like to, you know, uh, Twin Flame Soulmate, it's uh, something newer, it's a, there are new words from the last couple of, what, I guess 50 years, you know. Um, but this is definitely something divinely meant for you. For you to come into union with it. Okay? And I think you're being asked to start moving towards it. Leo, um, you might be feeling something. Okay? You might be feeling some type of a calling within you. To, to move on towards this um, energy, okay? It's definitely something that 
you can feel it deep inside of you and you know it would fulfill you okay and it doesn't matter what it is okay but uh, you're meant to come into union with it but you're having a hard time let's see Leo, the energy that's crowning you in your conscious mind, and you are aware of this, you're constantly thinking about this. Seven of Wands. I think you're always having to fight for things. You're always having to explain yourself. Maybe uh, you're wanting to come into union with this um, energy, situation, person, and you are constantly attacked by others when you try to do this maybe you are questioned judged criticized and it seems that you know you, you don't have to explain yourself okay especially if it's something you're being called to do this could be your life purpose or it's just something very important in your life that you're meant to 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 meet halfway okay But it seems that there is a lot of resistance around you. And you're always having to, to fight uh, to be able to move on to this desire, dream or dreams. I was going to say to this desired desire. Let's see. Below you subconscious mind you're not aware of and you should be, okay? Um, this is your higher self or divine trying to tell you this is the two of wands. Leo, uh, you are more than ready or you... Yes, you are more than ready, maybe you don't know it yet. To show the world who you are, what you're meant to do. And what you're capable of doing and not just to prove it to others but to prove it to yourself okay okay um, something has been trying to hold you back and stop you from progressing and to to achieve this I know this divinely meant thing for you for some of you, it could be a gift. For, I don't know. But it's something you're being called to do so. But Leo, you're being told that you're ready to really step out. And finally, it's like they want you to stop hesitating and just seeing things or seeing your dreams or your hopes from afar without without really going after them okay they want you to stop thinking that if should you or should you not um, go after this and it speaks of all this resistance around you but you're being truly called to do this. Some of you, this is why it's a challenge, okay, are having a hard time believing that it is divinely meant for you, okay? You know it will emotionally fulfill you, but you're not sure if it's divinely or if it really is something that is truly meant for you to do. Okay. I, if you're being pulled to it, you know, that's why they always say what you are seeking, it's seeking you, you know. Rumi said that. And, uh, but there is all this resistance. Maybe this resistance is coming from yourself, you know. Maybe your own conscious mind is the one that's fighting you, fighting yourself. Your own conscious mind is, fight, is fighting you to stop yourself from moving towards this desire and if not it's just you're dealing with other energies that are trying to 
hinder you. They're trying. They don't want you to 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 achieve this. They don't want you to have this. This energies don't care if you're happy or not. And I think some of these energies are just operating from a lower vibrational uh, frequency. You know, it's just they're acting from their fears from and their insecurities. Don't let them uh, get the best of you, Leo. You're being called to go through this journey to fulfill your dreams. Okay? The energy that's behind you, recent past for some of you, where you're coming from, or it's just the energy that you're the reason why you're going through this situation, which is, I think, mostly why you're going through the situation, is the Nine of Cups. Okay? So this is what's pushing you to start thinking. I'm starting to smell coffee again with cream. Hmm. Some of you love coffee, right? <laughs> I stopped, I stopped smoking and drinking coffee a year ago. Boy, was it tough. Smell still gets me. Leo, it's all about what makes you happy. Okay? You see all that yellow? It's about being conf confidence. That solar plexus energy. Okay? It's your passion. Well, it's your passion. But you have to... You've been called to do something here for your own emotional fulfillment, to make you happy and not worry about others. It's, it's about you. It's about what you want. And I think some of you are starting to see this because it's behind you. It could be your recent past. Maybe some of you already went through a moment in your life where you, where you said to yourself, you know, Screw it. I want this because it's meant for me. And I can feel it. And yes, that could be your life purpose. You never know. Especially if it's dragging you, I mean literally calling you to come into union with it. There is a lot of resistance. This is why it's also the challenge. Something doesn't want you to to meet with this other energy. But you're supposed to. You're supposed to meet this uh, this other energy. Both of you have to attract each other are attracting each other. That's what it is. Yeah. In front of you, where you're headed to, what's coming towards you, near future, higher than Taurus energy. This is my, my card of God, um, spirit divine, your higher knowledge, your higher self. I think you are understanding, or you will be understanding, that this is all divinely orchestrated for you. God has, God or divine or spirit has been supporting you, or they are supporting you. And they want you to believe and have faith in whatever it is that you are going through right now. And they want you to, to come into union with this. You are being divinely guided and supported. You have to stop thinking and worrying about having to explain yourself even explaining to yourself you know if this energy comes within from within you what is it is it like intrusive thoughts what is it if it, if this comes from you maybe it is some type of negative intrusive thoughts that you think that nothing's going to work out or well i wouldn't really call them intrusive but it's just i don't know you might be fighting yourself here and mentally because you're not really sure 
But if not, then there's other energies, energies that are trying to stop you from achieving what you truly desire and not just what you desire, what you deserve. These are gifts from God. Nobody can stand in the way between you and these gifts. They're divine gifts and they're meant for you to, to have them. Okay? Only you know what it is because it's something that you feel pulled towards it. Like I said, for some of you it could be a relationship, for some of you it could be a lifestyle, a job, a even uh, something, just something that makes you very happy. Okay? You're meant to move towards it. This is how you should still respond to the situation. Or it's a representation of you right now in this reading. Hangman, Piscean energy. You see, you're in this position where you feel stuck, but you are. Are you starting to get the clarity about something? Are you starting to get some type of understanding are you starting to see things a little different maybe you've been hanging upside down upside upside down but there's a reason for this and so you can see things from another point of view and understand things in a different way the hangman sometimes that's what it does you know it's not just about being stuck and uncomfortable well, yeah, it is, but not only that. It's about getting some type of divine clarity. So if you feel that everything in your life has been stagnant, you feel that everything, you know, that your world, your life, or your world is upside down, both your world and your life are upside down. If you feel that, you know, if you feel uncomfortable doing things that you don't enjoy doing, because he's in a very uncomfortable position. It's because you're not you're not in the right place. You're not in the right moment. You're not in the right you're not doing the right thing. You're not with the right person. You're not in the right situation, whatever. But you're understanding this. You're starting to understand that. That's why he's got all that illumination around his head. Okay? So if you feel that things have not been fantastic, there's a reason why. And I think something is starting to pull you and call you. So you can start moving towards it. It's a quest, it's a journey. It's, you're in search of the Holy Grail of, you know, that holy grail is what makes you happy, is what makes you truly happy. And you have to understand that it's divinely meant for you. Lovers is right after the Hierophant, you know. Hierophant is number five and Lovers is number six. It is divinely meant for you. Surrounding you and influencing you, supporting you, maybe inspiring you, or affecting you somehow with the Five of Swords. You have this energy around you, if, you know. This is just all that drama, that stress. Five stars is just about negative energies. Trying to get the best out of you, trying to distract you, trying to make you f vibrate at a lower frequency. Those same energies. They want to pull you down to their level. They don't want to, they don't want you to be happy. Two messages I get with this. One is whatever energy tries to test you, distract you, fight you, don't engage with it. Just drop your swords. You don't have to engage with it. Okay? And what is the other energy that I felt with this? I'm sorry, it just slipped, but it's okay, it's not that important, but it's just that thing. Just don't, don't engage with these lower 
vibrational energies, okay? They'll try to distract you and take you out of the, you know, derail you, let's put it that way, okay? Lower vibrational energies don't, don't get distracted by fighting with them, okay? Just focus on what you want and start moving towards it. You don't have to explain yourself to anyone. Hopes and fears. Ten of Pentacles, you want to reach that, right? You want that? This is not just about the money, you know? Maybe it is for some of you. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what it is. But you want that stability. You want that, you want that abundance. And abundance to you means whatever it means for you. For some of you, it's wealth. For others of you, it's health. For others of you, it's just that stability, that security, you know? Maybe a quality of life. But you want to reach this status, this level where you are... You are well with yourself, where you have finally achieved that level, that security. Ten of Pentacles, you know, can't get any higher than that. That's reaching that top and finally saying, I did it. And I'm sure you can do it, but you just have to believe. They want you to believe here with a the hierophant. They want you to believe that there is something meant for you. And you're supposed to, you're meant to start moving towards it. Once you do it, it will start moving towards you too. That's the way it works. But don't let anything distract you, please, or derail you. Not even yourself. You're meant to be happy, Leo. You're meant to be happy, Leo. Outcome or advice, chariot, Cancerian energy. I mean, this is the green light. You are in charge of your own destiny here, okay? You are behind the, the steering wheel, you're in the driver's seat. All you have to do is just start moving forward you are the one who has to give the order to the sphinx so that they rise and they start walking forward they start marching on it's about being confident okay see all that yellow there okay believe trust trust yourself trust the process process that you're going through okay but you're meant to move forward don't stay stuck doing what you don't enjoy doing. Don't stay stuck doing. Don't please other people. Okay? You're not meant to do that. That's for some of you. You are people pleasing. This is why you're not coming into union with your dreams, your desires, what is divinely meant for you. Maybe, like I said, your life purpose. You have to be strong. You have to keep fighting, okay? Fight for what you truly believe in. And move forward, Leo. Leo, the bottom of the deck is just a beautiful, beautiful energy, okay? There you are, Queen of Wands. Fire, Leo, mostly. She's got the lions in the back, the lions in the throne. Leo, they want you to believe in yourself. This is about believing in yourself, about trusting the process. Believing in magic, embracing the mystery, 
embracing the fear okay and enjoying it okay having fun they don't want you to be bitter angry or sinful if you don't go after what you're meant to go through that's what's going to happen to you the queen of wands in reverse is a bitter angry resentful energy and it can even be a little not too well in the head and it comes from all of that even depression okay that little black cat that's mystery that's her cat she loves mystery and so should you okay please do your magic leo have faith and trust okay king of cups be in control of your emotions okay stay cool stay calm stay collected don't let anything try to manipulate you or stop you from achieving your dreams okay don't let anything or anyone tell you that you're not supposed to do something or you're not allowed or that you can't have this damn right you can have it and it's only meant for you okay don't worry about others now we have the king of wands it's about standing up and taking action okay more fire energy and you are protected okay so he's got the salamanders there's one on the ground the queen does not have any salamanders and some people say that it's because she's not protected others think that it's because she doesn't need the protection she believes so much she has so much trust in the divine that it's like she knows that um, her faith is what will protect her but still if you need that confirmation it's right there you are protected against your own fire energy salamander don't get burnt that's what they're telling you here okay let's get additional messages clarifier or advice or warnings a little closer reading with the woodland warden circle deck beautiful reading Leo very very beautiful reading you're meant to move on towards something some of you have probably been trying to do this for a long time and you haven't done it it's time before it's too late wheel of fortune things want to change in the in your favor this is just you have for Leo regardless of being your situation god damn it this card the king of wands it, it was just like sticking on my palm again please what other messages do you have for Leo regarding this reading or situation if there's something else they need to know thank you very much Leo you have a five of wands at the bottom of the deck yeah and the seven of swords this immediately immediately tells me so you've got the seven of wands and the seven of swords and we have the five of swords and the five of wands <laughs> um don't engage with energies that try to distract you okay and uh, avoid any type of conflict walk away from all of that and just focus on what you truly want now okay there are energies that don't want the best for you very deceiving very you know and also you know with this card it tells me to just you know pick up your swords and just move on somewhere else okay you're meant to do something for yourself okay but there is a lot of conflict 
a lot of conflict and lower vibrational energies that are not allowing you to grow and you are being pulled here divine wants you okay to please answer to this calling they've got something beautiful for you okay you're ready it's time it's time to put yourself out there okay let's close this reading with a wooden words and then I'll send you off your way okay one more Okay, what other messages do you have for Leo, please, with the Woodland Warden's Oracle deck? This one. You have the bee and the pomegranate, which means productivity, productivity, pomegranate, grenade, grenade, pomegranate. 26 okay pomegranate i think i am pronouncing it right uh, 26 and i opened it right there productivity says the bee and the pomegranate calls us to create with purpose bees are known for their hard work and industriousness the phrase busy as a bee derives from Geoffrey Chaucer's Canterbury Tales, written in the 14th century. Pomegranates are tough skin and difficult to open, but once their exterior is pierced, hundreds of seeds burst forth, signifying fertility and abundance. In the upright position, it says that you are at your most productive. Take care to ensure your labor fulfills you. Yes, make sure it fulfills you, okay? It's what has to make you happy. In the reverse position, it says that you may be struggling with procrastination. Consider testing, resting, I'm sorry. Consider resting for a while before attempting to get back on track. And you know, the hangman could be that procrastination, but that procrastination is coming from fear, insecurities, doubts. It usually comes. Procrastination is not being lazy. It's because we are trapped in some type of fear or doubt okay two questions you have to ask yourself with this card one is when am i at my most productive and the second question is am i feeling fulfilled in my work and if no how do i change that well if you're not happy where you're at maybe that's why leo that's the best i can do for you okay and uh, I hope this reading helps you, gives you the guidance that you are seeking at this moment of your life. And if you do like it and enjoy it, please do hit the like button and leave me a comment. I would truly appreciate it very much. Leo, I hope to see you next time. Please do stay safe. Be happy. It's all about being happy. Okay? And stay very blessed. Goodbye, Leo.